community media, from my point of view, is um, organic. It's power. Public access, to me, uh, gives me an opportunity to get my word out to the uh, larger community of the town that I can't get to on my own. This is good programming. This is what people say, well, how come they don't ever write anything good in the news, right? This is the good news. What we're doing is critical, it's important. We have to stay energized and motivated to do this work in our community, but understand that our real mission is to hold up our part as we encourage others to hold up their part around the planet. So I was 14, I joined SPNN, a Set It Up program, which is an after-school program. We created our own TV show that was put out in, in the public, and I went along, did that for, till I graduated high school. Currently, I work with Youth Prize. I'm their youth storyteller. I create all their media and content having to do with like telling stories. It seems like there's been an incessant attack on black leaders and on black interest. And we believe we have a right and a duty to respond. Too often, we are encouraged to think of ourselves as insignificant and as meaningless. Getting involved in a way is telling the world no. And we need more people to say no. People in neighborhoods can now do what only corporations could do a generation ago. I'm here live from the mud pit. Disability viewpoints can cover disability issues at a little longer length, which the local news hasn't been able to do. I wanted to share all the wonderful things that life has given to me. I thought, what better way to give back to humanity than to just share from the heart. Conscious programming to me feels like where we want to go as human beings, where we want to feel alive. It gives me an opportunity to talk about theater, the arts, writing, directing. Because it's us, you know, it, it, it's the community stepping up and, and grasping onto their own show. I connect my culture by myself, but Olelo provide a facility for me. And that gave me the opportunity to go out in the field and actually use the equipment and get more hands-on experience with it. If it wasn't for that, you know, I wouldn't be where I am doing what I'm doing today. Not only did people come up to me and say, I saw you on TV talking about your organization, they asked about it. And that's how I learned the value of being a producer because you touched one life and a family that was sitting there, brought them together at that time. I really enjoyed them. This station uh, broadcasts a lot of different things. Olelo is unique in that it is offered to everyone who lives on this island. What my ancestors and my kupuna and my parents and family have done, I get to do it in my own way. Growing up, they've instilled a sense of deep responsibility as being able to keep the stories alive. Without this opportunity, we might lose it one day. It gives us an avenue in which we can be heard and also be seen. And uh, I think public access allows that. It's given me a chance that I wouldn't have had at the bigger markets or the bigger studios. It's a powerful mechanism. It actually makes people think about things. There's new shows, there's entertainment, there's dialogue, there's a debate, uh, and that's all healthy. And I think public access gives that uh, opportunity to everyone. Uh, I think without it, uh, We'd be, uh, we'd be less fulfilled, I think, as a community. Technology affords collaboration that is global and local and it's accessible. And I think our mission has to be to continue to ensure that this technology remains in the hands of as many people as possible on planet Earth.